everything you will ever become, everything you will ever emerge to be is created by the word. Somebody shout the word. Everything in the world today we fail, but the word of God will never fail. Any man that gives you the word that has given you life. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, the word I found and I did eat them. And the word became the rejoicing of my heart. The word that I found and I did eat. The word eat there talks about listening, digesting, meditating. I did eat them. And they became the rejoicing of my heart. The Lord said I should test 21 persons here. After this meeting today, you will be the next shining star. Yeah. If you believe it, can God hear you louder? Amen here. Yeah. Even Satan was created by the word. That is, the word is older than Lucifer. He said before the foundation of the word, the word has been. Am I talking to someone here? That is, you have no problem with life when you understand the dynamics of the word. Behind every success is the word dynamics. And that is why, allow me to take you through a journey on what I've captured. Or and settlement. Somebody shout, or and settlement. Can you shout it louder than that now? Can God hear your voice now? Now, quickly... In this Oran settlement service, we'll be looking at two weapons that I've put to work myself. Two weapons that great men in scriptures have applied. Two weapons that can never fail. Even in heaven, that's those weapons we'll still be speaking. You see, Mark chapter 4 verse 11 said, put it on the screen, Mark chapter 4 verse 11 quickly. Mark 4, 11. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Now that established the fact that there are people that are without. He said to them that are without, the kingdom matters become parables to them. The kingdom matter become a misery to them. The kingdom matter becomes difficult to them. But after now you have a pure understanding of God's word. Amen. If you believe it, you say louder, amen here. Amen. What is our objective in today's word? In today's lecture, what is our objective? What are we here to achieve? One, to navigate and discover the secret to navigate life. To discover the secret of having early settlement. God can settle you on time. You don't have to be old to make wealth. What good it is to be in 80 years and you make your first 10 million. What good it is to be married at the age of 60, 55. I make a decree upon three persons that we say men here. Jehovah will give you divine settlement. Amen. If you believe it, God will hear your voice right now. Amen. That is, Jehovah can settle you on time. He said, call upon me and you will find me when you call with the whole of your heart. He said, they that seek me early will find me. That is, there is a place of hell in seeking God. And when you seek him early, you find him. This season you will find God. Amen. I thought you say better. Amen here. Amen. Quickly, if I want to have oral settlement, what are the things I need to know? Thank you, Mosai. One, I must understand the place of God's word. Finding financial settlement, finding marital settlement, I must understand the place of God's word. Anything you find outside God is mere mirage. Hear this? Anything you find outside God is mere mirage. 
anything you find outside God is mere entertainment. Anything you find outside the world is mere entertainment. Anything you find outside the world is mere illusion. That is the number one key to finding life, finding marital spouse, finding financial settlement is the key of the world. Hallelujah. Is the key of the word. Which word? Not your word. The word of God. Everything in life is created by the word. John chapter 1 from verse 1. We are going to read together as a family. John 1, 1. John 1, 1. Quickly. Let's read together. We want to go. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Verse 2. The same was in the beginning with God. Now listen to this. The devil was not in the beginning with God. The devil was created. The only thing that was with God is the word. In the beginning was the word that established the fact that the word has been before the beginning. Verse 3. All things were made by what? What is that him? The word. By what? The word. That is, if you are going to have your own thing made for you, you must navigate by the compass of the word. Why? Everything in life was created by the word. That is, listening to this, one of the nature of man is that man is creative in nature. God expects you to be creative. God expects you to be productive. Now, for that to happen, you must master the weapon of the word. That is the number one key to timely settlement is that key of the word somebody shout the word say it louder which word talk to me which word playing with god's word is playing with your life <laughs> i will show you a great man had an encounter with the word and everything about their life changed zebra hilo puta namazo Ki adu o safazale kotozini prete sabi agalo zuzane kle to zanai. By the Spirit of God, God is giving somebody a word here. Amen. That amen is not sound enough. Amen. Before we read scriptures this morning, I want to show you twelve things the word will do for you quickly. One, the word of God is creative. It can create. Create what is not there to be there. It can create new organs. It can create new eyes. It can create new contracts. It's creative. Two, the word of God is directive. It directs you. He said the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It gives direction. Three, the word of God is productive. It's productive. Four, the word of God restores he said, I will restore hell to you. And I will heal you of your wounds. That is, the word has restoration power. Five. The word of God reveals motives. He said, the word of God is sharper than two edges sword, Piercing between the soul and the spirit. And revealing the intention of men to them. That is, the word of God reveals motives. Six. The word of God separates people's levels. What will separate a man from the other is the word. Seven. The word of God shows you. You in your word. The word of God shows to you. You in your word. Eight. The word gives you faith. And destroys doubt. The word gives you faith. And destroys doubt. Nine, the word puts the devil to flight. 
you see when the devil came to jesus jesus never prayed he looked at the devil and said to him it is what written it is what talk to me it is what i want you to flow with me today it is what he never prayed he spoke the word that is the word puts the devil to flight Push the devil to flight. Then the word brings joy. He said, The word I found and I did hit them, and the word became the rejoicing of my heart. 11. The word of God is your dream book. It's your dream book. Anything you ever want to become is in this word. It's in this word. Lastly, the word of God. Can only be pictured your future can only be pictured from the world your future can only be pictured from the world that is how many how does the word of God helps you fulfill life one you must understand that everything in life that you see today that you will ever see is in the world listening to this in the law of production in the law of creation he said the things that are seen they are temporal but the things that are not seen they are what internal now let me tell you how this work the things you see are created by the words you don't see if i'm going to settle down on time if I'm going to be financially settled on time, I must locate a word for my area of settlement. Everybody's area of settlement is not the same. Your area of settlement might be in business. Lord, give me money for settlement. Your area of settlement might be in marriage. Lord, give me husband. Lord, give me wife. Your area of settlement might be in health. Lord, take away this sickness from me. Listen to this. Now, if I'm going to settle myself, I must locate a word that addresses that. And one good thing about the word of God is that the word of God deals and locates and touches every department of your life. There is no department the word of God can touch. The word of God touches your marriage. The word of God touches your business. The word of God touches your health. The word of God touches your relationship now if i'm going to have our divine settlement i must locate a word do you know why you need to locate a word once god sees word he can't say no hello <laughs> follow me carefully follow me carefully just look at me look at me have you read in the bible that god has highly exalted his name above all that at the name of jesus every nation of earth. but there is a force that is higher than the name and that force is the force of the word. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, listen to this, listen to this. The force of the word is the highest force in the universe. If you are going to see settlement, you must be a man and a woman that feasts on the word. Let me tell you something about the word. The word has what we call spiritual aroma. Once the devil knows that you have enough word inside, it gives you space. The devil does not attack men that knows the word. He only attack men that are shabby in the world. Because there is no force. Listen, the devil can attack your face, but the devil can't attack the word. Am I talking to somebody here? Now Jesus spoke to Peter. He said, Peter, I pray for you that your faith fail not because the devil is targeting your faith. Now listen now. Listen. The devil can attack faith, but the devil can attack word. That is, if you are a man that have come to a point where you place value on the word, you just be saying hi. You live as if the devil does not exist. You see, even Jesus, the very son of God, which was the very word, he knew that is the very word. The devil is not afraid of any man. Can I say something to you? You want to hear the biggest? The devil is not afraid of God. Sit down. The devil is not afraid of who? Eh? Eh? Abu Rosanaman. Let me open your eyes to the sit down. When the devil was planning the coup in heaven, where was God? Eh? 
he was in heaven. If he's afraid of God, he won't plan coup. He even told the angels, he said, we go to the him. He said, five eyes. If you read the Bible, he said, I will exalt myself. I will exalt myself. I will be like him. We will come now. In heaven. If the devil can put up chaos in heaven, what about your life? Am I talking to somebody here? That is for you going through trouble. It's normal. There was trouble in heaven. But what God did is that to kick the devil out. Straight your hand towards me. Every devil putting chaos in your life. If I be a prophet of God, this week will be their end. I don't like the way you are saying them in here. I say this week will be their end. Now, if you are so, the devil is not afraid of prayers. You want to hear that? The devil is not afraid of prayer and fasting. I fasted. Close your mouth. Jesus fasted for 40 days and what? When he was coming down from the mountain, the first place he saw was Satan. Am I talking to somebody here? And he didn't see Satan because Satan was strolling past. Satan came to tempt him. He said, Brother Jay, forget those fasting. I have come because you fasted. Every time you are more spiritual, you attract Satan, you don't know. But when you conquer him, you move to another level. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? That's how this thing works. You see people listening to this, listening to me. When you get born again, God can be giving you milk. You'll be eating milk. But when you get to a height, God wants you to exercise your knowledge of the word and faith. When you don't have it, the devil will kick you left and right. And you'll be thinking God is not in your church. It's not in your church. It's not about your church. It's your irresponsibility that is affecting you. Jesus has built responsibility that when Satan came to him, you know what he did? He said, for it is written. For it is what? Now, normally you will think the devil will go. He conquered him the first time. The devil should go. And am I right? But Satan didn't keep quiet. Let me tell you something about Satan you don't know. Satan is a relentless fool. He knows that he will be defeated, but he will still try. Witches that are trying pastors, they know they will die. But they still want to prove a point. Am I talking to somebody here? Witches that are trying Christians, they know they can't succeed. But they still want to prove a point. Stretch your hand towards me. May I do sabai. Meluta agu ashagi apopana udanai. Reskebigi saguri ameme. Klatosika pletosizie balahanene. I make a decree. As one sent by God. Every trouble you go through. By the word of God, they are over now. I thought your amen will be the loudest here now. I thought your amen will be the strongest here now. Follow me carefully here. It told Satan, it is written. He left. Every time you know what is written, you cannot be written out of life. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm showing you the dynamics of the world. Sir, if a man doesn't have eyes, the world can recreate the eyes. It's creative in nature. It's dynamic in nature. It's productive in nature. A man with the world is a man with the future. <laughs> because one of the things the, joy the world does as we say, it gives you joy. It gives you joy. You are excited because you can see your future in the world. Now listen to this. Jesus knew that this is not the time very soon when i come meet you for her i will beat her out of you and i will show the world that i'm truly the son it's not see when it's not time for you to show don't show you have put yourself in trouble because you are showing early too much am i talking to somebody here you go for family meeting you are trying to prove you are the one there you are the one there now listen that was how many times the second time the what i'm going somewhere the third time Jesus, Satan came again. If you are going through trouble, relax. Even Jesus, the very son of God, went through trouble. See, the proof of Christianity does not mean, when you are a Christian, it doesn't mean that you won't go through trouble. Even Jesus told us, he said, when you go through the fire, I will what? I will be with you. A Christian that is not ready to go through fire, is not a Christian. Your glory becomes real through fire. Fire is meant for refining. Go through it excitedly. Am I talking to a church here? The third time Satan came to him. 
He said, this time, jump. And when Satan always comes, he will always quote Bible. I want to show you something. The language they understand in heaven is two languages. Worship and the word. Because Satan was in heaven, he knew the word. Am I talking to a church here? There are two languages they speak in heaven. You want to know them? The language of worship. That is where they sing Hosanna. 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 And the language of the word. Because anytime God wants to do something on earth, the vehicle at which he used in doing them is the vehicle of the world. Am I talking to somebody here? God functions at the vehicle of the world. Even when God spoke to, through the Holy Ghost, it was still the world. These things, they are intertwined. Am I talking to some persons here? That is listening to this. Satan knew the Bible to a point that he was even quoting Bible to Jesus. He said, you are the son of God. Remember the Bible said, he will not allow your feet to be dashed to the ground. He will give these angels charge over there. Follow me. He, he tempted him the third times. And Jesus said, do you know? Jesus now responded by the word. Thou shalt not tempt thy Lord and thy God. Now listen. That word was a two double sword. Thy Lord and thy word. The word Lord means owner. The word God means the self-operating one. You can't stand me. I am your owner. The word Lord is ownership. That's why you got the word land. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, and you shall not tempt your Lord, your God. Quiet. I'm superior to you. And the devil is, you know, the devil is a proud fool. The devil said, before they molest me, pastor, I might find my level. And the Bible says, and Satan lived him. And Satan lived him. Every time you present the word, Satan will leave you. But your own, you cry too much. Your own, you complain too much. Sit down with the word. Now, what am I crying for? Marriage. Where is this written about marriage? Now, listen. The Bible says, out of the mouth of two or more weaknesses, these things are what? Established. Sit down. Carry your concordance. Or carry your phone. Go to Google. Type early marriage scriptures. Type it. Bring the scripture. Organize three that fit your case. Put it before God. Print it out. What with it for three days? That story we have cancer. Am I talking to somebody here? It's applicable to business. It's applicable to health. It's applicable to marriage. It's applicable. Can I shock you? Even God told them, present your strong reasons. <laughs> you know, in, in the kingdom of God, we operate by legal terms. That's why he called us high priest. There was a play called Jesus, the judge of all. Another play called Jesus, an advocate. He said, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is, gather enough word. Gather it. Any single lady that does not know what God has said about marriage, you will not get married though. The devil will sit on your marital life to prove that what the pastor is teaching is wrong. How do I search the word to get word? Search the word to get your word. One, search with expectation. Search with expectation. Don't read Bible like novel. When you are reading novel, you are not expecting anything. No. Don't read Bible like no magazine. Search with expectation. Two, ask the Holy Spirit to help you for your findings. It is what God show you that makes you a show. It is what you find that makes people locate you. Celebrate your findings. Every time you find something new, share it with somebody. Don't keep it to yourself. Celebrate your findings. Celebrate your findings. Lastly, put to work your findings. Everything you find, put them to work. Everything you find, put them to work. Everything you find, put them to work.